Welcome back to the Lights Out podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls for when the lights go out and when it's dark. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you all tucked up and ready for bed? Are you all ready for another bedtime story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight because tonight's story is part five of awesome author August. And tonight's story is called The Merslings, The Adventure Begins. Written by Brittany Plumeri. Once upon a time, I know of a place where adventures occur. It's out on the seas called the Island of Myrrh. The island has treasures and creatures to meet, like merslings whose height measures only two feet. Be careful, for if you forget to be kind, these mischievous creatures will surely remind and bring you to Myrrh, where I am happy to bet they'll teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. And that's just what happened to one particular child, a young boy named Noah, who was recklessly wild. Back on the island, the Merslings all met and were anxiously reading the Mersling Gazette, which reported a story about this young lad and the fact that he treated his classmates so bad. They all shook their heads as they read the news copy. I don't know what to do, said a Mersling named Floppy. A big puff of smoke. Floppy held up his hand. Then poof, Noah promptly appeared on the sand. While turning around in confusion and shock, the boys spotted Floppy on top of a rock. The Merslings told Noah he needed his help. Miss Hoon hid his gem deep in the kelp. I'll help, Noah said, which put Floppy at ease. They went up a mountain all covered in trees. While climbing the mountain, poor Floppy did huff. Noah said, You huff much too much, ball of puff. But Floppy ignored him and just kept on going. Now it was Noah whose weakness was showing. While huffing and puffing, they got to the top. But Noah was panting, I just need to stop. Then Floppy did stop, and he sat on a rock. But Noah was puzzled. Why didn't he mock? Descending again down the other side's end, Floppy led Noah around a cliff bend. From out of the bushes, a tree branch stuck out, and whack, it smacked Floppy on top of his snout. How Noah did laugh while he watched this ordeal, but cried out in pain when the branch whacked his heel. His tune quickly changed, and he started to cry. Then Floppy showed up, with a leaf for his eye, and Noah was thinking, this mesling's so nice, although I have mocked him, and more than just twice. They trekked down the mountain, and heard a loud laughter, for there sat Miss Hoon, just the one they were after. She said to the meslings, you're surely a pest, I've stolen one gem, now I'll take all the rest. Then Noah's face reddened. He felt really mad. Don't dare make this kind-hearted mesling feel sad. Miss Hoon asked him then, Did I tell you to speak? And for the first time, Noah felt somewhat meek. The boy could now see that Miss Hoon was quite mean. This made him remember his morning routine. Each day, he would pick on a classmate or two. But now he could tell what's the right thing to do. He answered Miss Hoon. I deserve this, I do. I tend to behave exactly like you. My parents, my siblings, my teachers, my peers. They're far from deserving my terrible sneers. The meslings popped out and they started to shout. You did it, Noah. You figured it out. Miss Hoon glanced at Noah and gave him a smile which showed she'd been in on this plan all the while. Then just like that, there was a bright flash, and Noah was back in his room with a crash. 
From that day forward, Noah would recall Floppy and how kindness is the key after all. The end. Wow, that was a great rhyming story about being kind and a boy who had to go all the way on an adventure with some murslings to find out that he had been mean to his peers and friends. It's not nice being mean and maybe you can reflect and be aware sometimes and be nice tomorrow. You can find out more about this amazing book by clicking the link in the description. Until tomorrow for day six of awesome author August. 31 days and 31 new amazing books. Good night.